In light of Amazon restricting Fire TV devices, I know that many of you are now considering buying an Android TV box. This guide is going to show you how you can move an app from a Fire Stick to an Android TV box wirelessly. It also shows you how you can move an app from an Android box to another Android box also wirelessly. Stick around, all the details coming up. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So we need to download an app which is available on the App Store on both the sending and the receiving devices. So I've gone to my Fire Stick. I'm going to download the app there first. So go into the magnifying glass, go down to search on screen keyboard and uh, just type on there local L-O-C-A-L -L, and send. So local send, all one word. As you're typing local, you probably will see local send appear in the list. If you do, highlight it, middle button. And then it's this app just here. Highlight that middle button and then middle button again. Once that's installed, open the app. And if at any time it does ask you for permission to access files and folders, then just accept that or say yes to that. So come out of the app on the sending device and go across to the receiving device. And then we need to go into the app store and search for local send in there too. And then you want to pick this app here, the local send app and then install it. Once it's installed, open it. And again, if at any stage it asks you for permission to access files, folders and media, then just say yes to that. So I'm just going to come out of the app for the moment and go back to our main menu. Now, everything should be set up ready for us to go. But before we get going, there's a couple of things we should bear in mind. We need to make sure that both devices are on the same wireless network name. Also, also make sure that any VPNs on the sending or receiving devices are turned off. And if you do have any trouble sending or receiving files, then my tip is restart both the sending device and the receiving device and also your Wi-Fi router too. And then when it comes back on, again, make sure that you are connected to the same network on both devices, the same network name. That's very, very important. And obviously make sure that the VPNs are still turned off. Open the local send app on the device that you're receiving. So in this example, it's going to be my Android box. And then make a note of the name there and make sure that it's in receive mode. So uh, that's just on the left hand side there. So in my case, the name is Hot Melon. Then we go into the local send app on the sending device, which this is my Fire Stick. And then make sure that you're in send mode over there on the left. Now, it's difficult to navigate. What I tend to find is I press the left hand side of the ring on the remote once and then the down part of the ring once. And that should highlight in grey send. Then press the middle button on the remote control. And there we should see under nearby devices, Hot Melon, which or in your case, it will be a different name, but whatever you made a note of earlier on your receiving device. If you can't see that, then you, you've got a refresh button just over there. You can press that and that refreshes to see if it can find it. If it still can't, then as I said earlier, make sure that you are on the same Wi-Fi network. Make sure it's not a public network. And also make sure that v any VPNs that you may have on either the sending or the receiving device are switched off temporarily while you're transferring. So then what you want to do is you want to go up to selection up the top there. And if the app is installed on your device already, go to app middle button. A keyboard will come up if you're on the Fire Stick. If it does, you can search for the app there if you know its name or just press the back button once and you'll get a list of apps come up there. Scroll down to the app that you want to transfer. So I'm going to transfer Wolf Launcher in this example. Highlight it, middle button on the remote, then go down to your receiving device underneath nearby devices, highlight it, middle button, and then it says it's waiting for a response. 
And if we go across to our receiving device, it tells us that uh, Determine Broccoli, which is the name of my Amazon device, wants to send you a file. So do you accept it? So it's a bit difficult to see, but press the down button a couple of times and then go across to the right to highlight accept. And it's you can only just about see it highlight. So I've highlighted that middle button and there you go. It's now downloading through the air, through wireless, straight to my device. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to install the app on the device because it's only downloaded it to the download folder, as you can see up the top there. So we need to keep pressing the up button until the app is highlighted. Then press the middle button on the remote. And there you go. It comes up. Do you want to install this app? So highlight, install, middle button and then it starts installing. And there you go, eventually it will tell you that the app was installed. So go across to done, middle button, and then we go across to done at the bottom of the screen. And then if we come out of this app, we should then see, there you go, Wolf Launcher or whatever app you've transferred has now installed. Now, the only thing is it's downloaded the original install file onto our downloads folder on there. And that's taking up space because we don't actually need to keep it on here. If we wanted to get it again, we'd just go and download it or we could send it across from our old device again if we kept it on there. So what we need to do is we need to go into a file manager app, something like Explore, which is available on the App Store and then go into the download folder. And then you should see in there, there you go, there is the app that we transferred across. Highlight that. And then we wanna press and hold the middle button on the remote if using Explore. That sub menu will come up, go down to delete, middle button, and then just okay that. That's the original file deleted. But as you'll see, there you go, the actual app is still installed on the system. This method should work with all apps, whether or not they've been sideloaded or whether they've been downloaded from the app store. It should even work, I believe, with apps that have been disabled or got a warning from Amazon, as long as they're still installed on your Fire Stick, which most of them will be, because even when an app has been blocked or disabled by Amazon, it does actually request that you manually uninstall it. So if you haven't uninstalled it, it should bring the app across and it should, as long as Google haven't blocked the app, it should work on this new device. I should also point out that whilst moving the app across works, it won't move any settings across, any login detail. So you may well have to log back into certain things or reset certain apps back up. Some apps do have the facility on them to export your configuration. So you could do that. You could export the configuration into say the download folder if it lets you and then use the local send app to transfer say via a file. But obviously each app is going to be different. In most cases, it's probably just as easy to re-sign in again or to reset up, copy your configuration from your old device to your new one.